Hello everyone. Great to see so many of you tuning in today. Welcome to the latest edition of Propeller Group's Wool Flower at the Orgy, an eye-catching title that we will explain, I promise. My name is Anna Feynman and I'm a director here at Propeller Group and for those of you not familiar with us, we are a PR, content and business development agency specialising in helping B2B companies within the media and marketing space. Ramel, Ben, myself and the whole, whole team at Propeller Group across three different time zones would like to welcome you today to hear insights into the stories journalists at the key global marketing trades most want to cover. We do have a fantastic lineup for you and that includes Judy Pollock, Executive Editor at Ad Age, Ken Hein, US Editor at The Drum and Alison Weisbrot, US Editor at Campaign. Without further ado, I will pass over to Bramwell Johnson, Propeller Group's Director of Content. Over to you, Bramwell. Hi, thanks Anna. We've got a panel of top flight editors of US trade titles with us today and for the next 40 minutes we're going to discuss among other things what they see as their role, the type of stories and the content they're looking for and the best ways of pitching to their teams and we will tackle that all important question of whether their titles and teams are part of the industry or Apart from the industry, we'll find out. If you've not cottoned on yet, by the way, um, the Wallflower title itself comes courtesy of US writer and journalist Nora Ephron. She once wrote, working as a journalist is exactly like being a wallflower at the orgy. Everyone else is having a marvellous time and laughing merrily and eating and drinking and having sex in the back room. And I am standing on the side taking notes. Now, I've done a lot of note taking in my time because I was a trade press journalist. And that gives me some empathy with our guests. And I understand the stresses and strains and challenges they're facing each day. Uh, but it also means I do know if they're partly gliding over the truth. Now, I think we should start with some context. Hi, everyone. I'm Alison Weisbrot. I'm the editor of Campaign US. We're unique in that we have reach across Asia, uh, Europe, and the US, among other markets. And we really cover... Um, we put we put creativity and, and the work that this industry creates in a business context and, you know, really try to create valuable, compelling and interesting content for people who work and make up this industry. Thanks. Ken, do you want to come forward next? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for having me. So I'm Ken. I'm U.S. editor of The Drum. I mean, The Drum, we rebranded, refocused, relaunched in October all around the concept of solutions. You know, when I was talking to Gordon and Cam, um, about joining and Diane, we just kept saying, what a crazy time this is. What, a, what, a, what a, a moment where marketers and agencies and everybody's just searching for answers. So all of our content now is rooted on insight. It's rooted on inspiration. It's rooted in guidance. Yeah, I mean, we're all about solutions and helping our readers, you know, um, make good decisions, learn and, and be inspired. And Judy, last but not least, tell us a bit about that age. Okay. So uh, Advertising Age has been around for 91 years. I have not been there for all 91, but I've been there for a third of them. Um, we actually cover creativity, agencies, uh, media, marketing, you name it. But we sort of look at our audience as a three-legged stool, agencies, marketers, and media. So we try and use that lens to everything we bring to it. What, what is the, the role of the trade press then in the, in the landscape? Well, as you're talking about, there is so much information out there. And I think of the role of the trade press is to help to distill it for the reader. I mean, we really feel our job is to make our readers do their jobs better. So we look for the things that are important for them. We try and give it within, you know, with no filter, uh, obviously, and to try and engage and inform them as much as possible. So I think our role is a curator in some degree you know, and also a breaking news source so that they can have competitive intelligence. So I think our job is to be really, you know, as opposed to um, a mainstream press outlet that might be sort of taking the 30,000 foot view of the advertising industry. Our job is to really dig in and help people, um, you know, be there every day, helping these people do their jobs better. And then, you know, also celebrate the people doing the work while at the same time holding them accountable the businesses and the people in this industry accountable, um, I think is our job. Piggybacking on what um, Judy and Allison said, I mean, we're here to kind of make sense of it all. Like this is the craziest moment, probably in history. And then you layer in our industry trying to, you know, reach consumers and, and B2B customers at a time when 
how they're behaving and how they're absorbing marketing and advertising is totally changing um, by the day, seemingly. Um, you know, curate, but also offer actionable insights. Like, you know, okay, this is what's happening, but this is what you should be thinking about doing. And by the way, this might also happen too. And just kind of educating them, giving them the context um, objectively um, and, you know, just really kind of helping them understand all this because there is quite a lot. Every day there's a new announcement, you know, and it's kind of all of our jobs to kind of make sense of it all. All right, then. Um, all I'm going to say is thanks for being such a, a marvelous set of non wall flowers and sharing your insights and your experience. I'm just going to hand over to my colleague, Ben Titchmarsh, for some closing remarks. Glenn, well, thank you. And thank you to everyone on the panel. Um, we would all just like to really thank you for your contributions today. Um, we've actually had nearly 200 people tune in over the course of an hour, which has surpassed our expectations. So that's wonderful. We've covered information, distillation, problem solving, helping people do better jobs. We've looked at the nuts and bolts of breaking stories first and why brevity is the soul of pitching. I really wanna just thank each of our panelists individually. Alison, you're helping people do better jobs. You want to celebrate the industry, have fun and hold it accountable. And we understand that no news is not good news from you if we pitch. Ken, you know, you're helping us make sense of a crazy moment, which is fantastic. Um, I also loved it when you used the Latin phrase ad nauseum. I don't think that's you being sick of the ad industry, hopefully. Um, I agree with you that even nostalgia ain't what it used to be. And we hope that news cures all ills. Lastly, the wonderful Judy. We know you've got the bugaboo about working through an editorial team list. We promise no one will do that. And it's all about bringing a new POV and not being too self-serving with whatever you put forward. No, very few businesses are a panacea to the world's problems. They shouldn't pretend to be. I also really look forward to the moment when you'll know how tall some of your colleagues are. Um, <laughs> Last but not least, we want to thank the inimitable, the man, the legend, Bramwell Johnson. He's taught us over the years that a trade exclusive is definitely not an exclusive. And <laughs> on, the, on the most important part, we agree, Jody, uh, Judy, wholeheartedly that this really is a wonderful and colourful industry to be part of. If you'd like to learn more about Propeller Group, please go to our website. We really look forward to doing these type of conversations in 3D, face to face with you in person in the future. For now, let us sign off. Enjoy the rest of your days. Thank you very much.